can power and privilege shield even the most heinous of crimes? This is a significant question that has recently been catapulted into the spotlight in Hungary, a Central European nation with rich history and deep-seated political traditions. The trigger? A scandal that has effectively shaken the country's political foundation to its core. A scandal that emanates from the country's highest office and involves a presidential pardon granted to a convicted accomplice in a child sexual abuse case. The eye of this tumultuous storm is none other than the country's first female president, Katalin Novak. She's an iconic figure in the conservative Fidesz party, known and often criticized for her unyielding family-first platform. Novak's beliefs and values have always been under scrutiny, given her controversial perspectives on gender roles and how they should influence the formation of public policy. The controversy started to unravel in the spring of 2023, when Novak used her presidential power to pardon a man convicted of concealing child sexual abuses in a state-managed children's home. This move, unexpected and shocking, triggered a national response, sparking widespread outrage that transcended political affiliations and socioeconomic strata. Her decision to pardon this man wasn't whimsical. It was rooted in her conviction that the individual did not exploit the vulnerability of the children involved in the strength. She believed the man was less a predator and more an unfortunate scapegoat. Regardless of her beliefs, her pardon led to public turmoil. It stirred emotions across the nation, leading to public demonstrations that filled streets and squares, echoing calls for Novak's immediate resignation. The demand was simple, for a leader who puts the nation's children and their safety first. Novak's pardon sparked a national conversation about the country's stance towards pedophilia which had always been one of zero PEF. It also ignited a debate about the integrity of the Fidesz party and the Hungarian government. The pardon put the spotlight on the decisions made at the highest echelons of power and the individuals who make them. However, this pardon not only raised doubts about the country's zero tolerance towards pedophilia, but also called into question the integrity of the Fidesz party and the Hungarian government. As the public outcry grew, it reached a crescendo that reverberated through the political corridors, seeping into the offices of those in power. The increase in public dissent exerted a significant level of pressure on key political figures within the governing body. This pressure became the catalyst for a series of political shakeups, beginning with the resignation of a prominent figure in the controversy, Judith Varga. Varga, the then justice minister, was a respected figure in the political landscape. Known for her staunchly conservative views, Varga had a significant pillar of support within the ranks of the Fidesz party. As the justice minister, she had endorsed the controversial pardon that had sparked the public outcry. However, as the magnitude of the public dissent increased, it became clear that her position had become untenable. This realization led Varga to step down from her position. Ripples of shock throughout the political spectrum. Varga's departure from office was not just a personal setback. It dealt a significant blow to her party, the Fidesz party. Her resignation served as a symbol, representing a breach in the previously impervious fortress of the Fidesz party. It amplified the scandal that was already engulfing the party, further intensifying the political storm. As this storm raged on, another key figure, Novak, found herself engulfed by the mounting pressure. Novak, who had held a pivotal role in the controversy, admitted to her mistake. This admission added another layer to the political intrigue, causing a sense of bewilderment and unrest amongst the masses. In February 2024, amidst an atmosphere of political chaos and public furor, she took a dramatic step. She announced the decision to resign from the presidency, marking an unprecedented instance of political turmoil for the Fidesz party. This party, which has been frequently accused of undermining democratic institutions, found itself in the eye of a political storm, a rarity in its history. In the tumultuous aftermath of Novak's abrupt resignation, Prime Minister Viktor Orban, moving swiftly, presented a transformative amendment to the national constitution. This proposal, aimed at substantial legal reform, was primarily designed to deter the country's president from issuing pardons for criminal offenses perpetrated against children, a bold move that caught the world's attention.
The proposal of this amendment was a direct and unequivocal response to the public outrage that was ignited by the scandal that led to Novak's resignation. The shockwaves of this scandal had reverberated far beyond the borders of Hungary, capturing the attention of the international community and throwing a harsh spotlight onto the internal workings of Hungarian politics. This constitutional amendment, which Novak, in a surprising show of agreement, pledged to sign into law, was viewed by political analysts around the globe as a strategic maneuver. Theoretical discussions argued that this was an attempt not just to address the immediate controversy, but also to reposition the administration's image in the eyes of a disillusioned electorate. The reactions to Novak's resignation were far from uniform. While some sections of the society, those who had been critics of his governance, welcomed the resignation, there was a significant section that saw this as a mere distraction that did not address the more systemic issues plaguing Orban's governance. Orban's political party, Fidesz, long been known for its close ties with the Kremlin, continues to command significant support in Hungary. Factors contributing to this support involve a range of socio-political dynamics, including national sentiment, foreign policy alignment, as well as economic considerations. However, the strength of Fidesz's position is not only derived from its own merits. The opposition, tragically fragmented and lacking unified vision, has inadvertently contributed to Orban's repeated electoral victories. In the grand scheme of Hungarian politics, the departure of Novak and the subsequent constitutional amendment are seen as significant events. Yet, many critics argue that these developments do not address the larger issues with Orban's governance. The support of Fidesz, underpinned by its close ties to the Kremlin, remains strong in Hungary, and the divided opposition continues to inadvertently bolster Orban's subsequent election victories. So, where does this leave Hungary? The scandal revolving around the issue of child sexual abuse has been brought into sharp focus, invoking an urgent crisis for the government. Initially, the governmental bodies appeared to underestimate the gravity of the issue, dismissing the scandal's potential impact. This crisis, known as the pardon scandal, has had much wider implications than just tarnishing the reputation of the Fidesz party. The issue has raised several glaring questions about the nature of politics in Hungary, it has brought to the forefront the urgent necessity for and transparency within the political mechanisms of the nation. The scandal has shaken the very foundations of the political structure, emphasizing the need for political responsiveness towards such grave issues. As the dust of the scandal begins to settle, the stark reality of its ramifications is coming to light. This event is leaving an indelible mark on Hungary's political landscape a mark that will be remembered in the annals of the country's history. The scandal, in its aftermath, is serving as a harsh reminder of the power of public opinion and its capability to shape and influence political events. Also, it has underscored the importance of governmental accountability. The role of the governing bodies is not just to lead, but also to be held accountable for their actions, especially in situations of crisis. The public's trust in government is paramount for a functioning democracy, and this scandal serves as a stark reminder of this fact. As we look forward into the future, whether this scandal will lead to significant political change remains a mystery. Will it herald the dawn of a new political environment, or will it fade into the background like many other issues? Will it inspire more transparency and accountability in the political system, or will it merely serve as a reminder of a dark chapter in Hungary's history. But one thing is certain, the pardon scandal has forever altered the course of Hungarian politics. The repercussions of this event will resonate in the country's political narrative for years to come. It has provided a turning point, a marker that will forever remind Hungary of this infamous scandal.